To show how yeast can be used to blow up a balloon, you can use three bottles with lids, yeast, check that it's not out of date, sugar, warm water and three balloons. I have three containers that can hold 240 millilitres. I have, I am putting 125 millilitres of warm water into each of them. Make sure the water isn't too cold or the yeast will not activate. And if the water is too hot, the yeast will die. Into each bottle, I am putting in two teaspoons of yeast. If the yeast goes in first, followed by the water, you'll find that the yeast will clump at the bottom. So I put the water in and then add the yeast. Then put on the top and give a good shake. Remove the lids and to the first bottle, do not add any sugar. To the second bottle, you can add two teaspoons of sugar and to the third bottle, I added three teaspoons of sugar. Before putting balloons on top of each container, make sure you blow them up so that they're able to stretch. Yeast will feed on starches found in flour and also on sugar. When they feed on the sugar, they produce carbon dioxide gas and also ethanol, which is alcohol. The carbon dioxide gas and ethanol will help bread to rise. It will help to produce air bubbles in the bread. The first bottle with the blue balloon doesn't contain any sugar. So therefore the yeast have nothing to feed on so do not produce carbon dioxide and ethanol. However, the bottle with the yellow balloon contains quite a lot of sugar. So the yeast are feeding on this sugar and creating quite a lot of gas, which is putting pressure on the balloon and blowing it up. The process of yeast feeding on sugar and producing carbon dioxide and ethanol is known as fermentation.